Um, and I was shocked by the story of you boarding a plane with two human heads. Hmm. Well, it, it's what I've always said, is sometimes what, what we go through in reality, you wouldn't expect to happen in fiction, because no. if you put it into fiction, they would say it's not true. And this was Gian Frank and Steve, uh, Stevenin, who um, was in Verona, and it was a, a lovely opportunity to go to Verona. And they asked if we were able to do something that's called a, a facial superimposition. So that as you take the photograph, you then take the skull and you try and match them. Because technically, if people's eyes are different shapes, if their mouth is a different shape, you won't be able to get the skull to fit into the photograph. But it meant that what I had to do, because they didn't have the capability in mm -hmm. Italy, mm -hmm. was to take the skulls over to the UK, but they weren't skulls, that's the whole point. These were, they were fleshed. They, they had quite a lot of maggot activity, so they're very wet and, and very um, smelly in the process. And so what they decided they would do is they would put each of the heads into white buckets that you could seal. And then so that we didn't disturb anyone in the airport, I would carry them into very expensive uh, designer carrier bags so that it didn't look obvious. And I carried two letters, one in Italian and one in English, that said what I was carrying. So you can imagine that you get to the first security point and they say, you know, put your bags on, on, on the, the, the scanner and you go, no, 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 read the letter. So they read the letter and went, go. And so then I got onto the plane and of course the, the air hostess said, no, you need to put your bags in the hold. So I gave her the uh, English letter and she was, Utterly horrified, but she moved me into business class, which I thought was very nice. Upgrade. 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 But it was as if they put razor wire around me because she totally ignored me then for the entirety of the flight, like I was I was a plague victim. Oh. So I got off there, and then you arrive in Heathrow. And when you go through Heathrow, you have to decide: do I declare or do I not declare? And I was brought up properly. Well, you so said you have to decide. I you to, had to decide. Yeah, I have to decide. Do you go through the green channel or the red channel? And I was brought up properly, so I thought I'll go through the green. I will declare. So I'm carrying my bags, and uh, a very bored man sitting with his feet up on the desk. And he sort of looked at me and he said, "Are they for your own consumption?" Oh. At which point I thought, "No, you need to read the letter." So he read the letter, and then again just shooed me on. Oh. So I, I was into Heathrow. I then had to get through the next security to get to Glasgow. And so again, you're on the scanner. And he went, no, 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 we need to open them. And I said, OK, well, I need to warn you, because he then went to open them. I went, no, 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 because if you yeah. open these, what you have is a decomposing head. Oh, my God. Moving in maggots that has, you know, the stench that you can imagine. And he sort of turned a bit green and went, now nah, you can go. <laughs> so I then get onto the flight from Heathrow up to Glasgow, uh -huh. have the same problem with the, the air yeah. steward. Yeah. And he this time put me to the back <laughs> of the plane and moved everybody else up to business class. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the entire way from Verona to Glasgow without anybody ever looking inside those buckets. You couldn't write that. I have, to, I, I have to tell you, Sue, that is, that is one of the first stories you ever told me. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, this woman is gold. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love the fact the whole story begins with you saying, and it was a lovely opportunity to visit Verona. <laughs> <laughs> it was gorgeous. I loved Verona. You gave all of those people amazing anecdotes that I'm sure they <laughs> yes. bring out at every opportunity. Probably. Yeah.